A man was mending his roof when suddenly an elderly messy man showed up on his lawn, yelling to him, Sir, would you get down, please? The man, not wanting to have to climb down and up the ladder again, yelled back, What's the matter, sir? The old man replied, Just get down here first. The man thought for a second, and being the polite man he is, climbed down the ladder. The old guy, Can you please spare me some money? The man, after thinking for some moments, said, Come with me. He climbed up the ladder with the old man following him. When both of them were finally up on the roof, the man said to the old man, No. The world has gone mad. What kind of world are we living in? Soldier Boy is not even a soldier. Dr. Dre is not even a doctor. And Adele is not even a computer. A math teacher, a gym teacher, and an art teacher die and arrive in heaven at the same time. God tells them that heaven is full and they will have to trick the devil to be let in. God calls the devil and the devil comes in and introduces himself. The math teacher tries first and gives him a hard equation. The devil solves it in 10 seconds and the teacher is sent to hell. The gym teacher asks him to do a thousand push-ups in a row without stopping. The devil does it without stopping and the gym teacher is sent to hell. The art teacher then says, give me a chair with seven holes carved in it. The devil hands him the chair. The art teacher sits down on it and farts. He asks the devil, what hole did the fart come out of? The devil replies, easy, the third one. The art teacher then says, nope, my hole, and then makes his way to heaven. A teacher explained biology to her third grade students. She said, human beings are the only animals that stutter. A little girl raised her hand saying, I had a kitty cat that stuttered. The teacher, knowing how precious some of these stories could become, asked the girl to describe the incident. Well, when she began, I was in the backyard with my kitty when the Rottweiler that lives next door got a running start. And before we knew it, he jumped over the fence into our yard. The teacher exclaimed, that must have been scary. The little girl said, it sure was. My kitty raised her back, went shh, shh, shh. And before she could say shh, the Rottweiler ate her. A doctor and two lawyers are on a train ride. The doctor gets comfortable, takes off his shoes, and decides he is thirsty and is going to take a trip to the snack car. He asks the lawyers, Hey, I'm going to go get a Coke. Do either of you want one? One lawyer shakes his head. No. The other lawyer says, Sure, grab me one, thanks. So the doctor walks off to the snack car, and while he is gone, the lawyer that asked for the Coke says to the other lawyer, Watch this, and spits a huge loogie into one of the doctor's shoes. The other lawyer finds this hilarious, and upon the doctor returning, decides that he now would like a Coke. He asks, Hey, doc, you know a Coke sounds nice. Could you grab me one too? The doctor replies, Of course. Of course! Heads back to the snack car, and while there, the second lawyer spits a huge loogie into the doctor's other shoe. Once the doctor returns with the second Coke, he gives it to the other lawyer, and then decides he is going to get some sleep. Still with his shoes off, the doctor lays his head back and passes out for an hour or so. Finally, after the doctor wakes up to the sound of the train arriving at his station, he puts on his shoes, the lawyers burst out laughing, and the doctor immediately realizes what has happened and exclaims to the lawyers, You know, guys, this is petty. The feud between our two professions needs to stop. It's getting out of hand, you know? Spit in the shoes, the peeing in the Cokes. A woman has to go to Italy for a conference, so her husband drives her to the airport. Thank you, honey, she says. Is there anything I can bring back for you? He laughs and says, an Italian girl. When the conference is over, he meets her at the airport and asks, how was the trip? Very good, she replies. And what happened to my present? He asks, confused. She replies, which present? The one I asked for, the Italian girl, he answers. With a sly grin, she replies, oh, that. I did what I could, but we'll just have to wait nine months to see if it's a girl. A man meets a woman in a bar. There is an obvious attraction between them, and they end up leaving together. They get back to her place, and as she shows him around her apartment, he notices that her bedroom is completely packed with teddy bears. Hundreds of small bears fill a shelf the length of the wall, medium-sized ones adorn a shelf a little higher, and huge bears sit side by side on the top shelf. The man is surprised that this lady should own so many cuddly toys, but it doesn't bother him. Instead, they embark on some midnight festivities. Afterwards, they are lying there together in the afterglow, and the man asks, well, how was it? She thinks for a minute and says, you can have any prize from the bottom shelf. 